hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome my name is zara i'm a medical student in the university of nigeria and i make medical vlogs health and lifestyle and other related videos if you have not subscribed well first of all if you like what you're going to see in this video and if you've watched my subsequent video and you've not subscribed I really don't know what you're waiting for. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and keep the notification bell when it pops up, okay? Alright guys, from the title of this video, you already know what this is. This is a comparison between passive study and active study. Basically, I know a lot of us have been having issues studying and all of that. But here I'm about to break it down and make studying easier and quite interesting because, well, studying is supposed to be interesting. It's a way to gain knowledge and should not be boring in any way. First of all, what is passive study? Basically, I like to see passive study as just reading. It shouldn't really be called study, but okay, let's leave it at that. It's just reading. Passive study doesn't really keep things in your um, long-term memory. They just keep things for the time being and after a while, you might forget what you read about. So passive study is basically just reading. It should not be called studying, but mm, let's just leave it that way. Active study basically is implementing different study methods and different study techniques to make study interesting and easier and also to retain more information so that you could recall it over a given period of time basically that is a simple definition or how i like to see to see passive study as basically this technique could be as little as taking notes in class reading a textbook reading a colorful textbook by the way reading a textbook um watching some study videos and all of that to make reading easier and more interesting and you will see more excuse me personally i like to see passive study sorry no passive i like to see active study as i like to put it into categories i like to put it into three categories which is one the pre-study secondly the study itself and thirdly the post study so i'll start with the pre-study the pre-study basically comprises of everything you do before you actually study and that goes as little as watching a video on the subject matter before you start your study like itself so um it's very easy in our time and age to get videos on actually actually every topic every just go on youtube and just search the subject matter or the topic and they just pop up more than five youtubers talking about the same topic and you you have to connect with at least one person and it's going to be easier to understand the subject matter and all of that so i'll be sharing with you some of my favorite youtubers that are here on youtube that i watch and that help me learn like help me retain more i um okay back in my um second third year days i used to um follow this guy called ninja net science he does everything from anatomy to biochemistry to physiology and everything just made then everything just became very clear to me just because of him and i'm so grateful to him you guys should go check him out if you're in um second year or third year you're still doing anatomy physiology and biochemistry all of that go check him out even if, i think he has started doing like pathology videos and pharmacology videos also go check him out also um i follow lecturio lecturio is also they have like lecturers or doctors that teach different topics mostly clinical topics so, so you guys should go check them out if you have anything like you must you must relate to one person that i'm going to talk about on that um youtuber that i follow or that i subscribe to is um medicosis perfectionalis i hope i got that pronunciation right but yeah medicosis perfectionalis i don't know how this guy does it but he's so good like he's extremely good and everything i'm like wow blow my mind like he's so good i also follow osmosis oh my god osmosis i can't even 
I can't even stretch this more. Like all these people I'm mentioning, they are very awesome. And another um, YouTuber I follow is um, Sketchy Micro. Yes, Sketchy Micro. Oh my God. Anything microbiology. They make it fun. They, like they use, okay, um, I know Sketchy Micro and uh, Osmosis and um, Medicosis Professionalis. I love these three people in particular because they use cartoons. They use um, animations and illustrations to make the subject matter clearer and even if you've forgotten it and they also use mnemonics oh my god these guys are awesome they also use mnemonics and even if you can't really remember what it's talking about but just because you've watched it in a movie like form in a cartoon form and or the mnemonics to be seen if they stick better you have a better understanding of the subject matter basically so you guys should go check this um youtubers out if you're a medical student if you're in medical school and you're having issues understanding various subjects matters you should check them out i think for different departments somebody is talking about something obviously people have their field of interest um basically so if you're looking for uh, medical videos medical lecture study videos you can go and check these guys out if you're looking for medical vlogs like a day in the life and all of that you come to check if you're looking for architecture videos there are people that have there are people that are under these specialties and they try to make the knowledge or the um they try to make studying fun and interesting basically that's what i'm trying to say another form of pre-study is to get the key points before you start studying you get the outline of the study basically in all my almost all my lecture slides and lecture notes have an outline have things that the lecturer wants to emphasize on so i always i like to check that out before i start my actual study because these these things are the things that are going to be um on, on what the exams are going to be based on the outline basically i know most people um ignore the outline because well what am i going to wait five minutes or two minutes reading the outline when they're not going to ask me for the outline but the outline is going to help you know where to focus on and what to read because not everything in that subject matter relatively concerns you basically so it's not everything in that topic in that topic that concerns you at your particular level so you need to know where to focus your attention on then other the periphery you can always get that along the line but once you know where the central focus is of that topic it everything becomes easier because you now try to understand that central focus and i feel like if you understand the central focus of a subject matter it's going to be easier to understand other things around that subject matter so there should be a focal reading like you should focus on something when you're reading because if you focus on the periphery before focusing on the central point uh, it might relatively it might not be so easy to get the central point after understanding the periphery so basically what i'm trying to say is that check out the outline check out the key points before you start reading know what the lecturer emphasized on when you were in class so it's easier to read these things when you get into the study itself it's easier to understand and know what your attention should be focused on so these are the two um forms of pre-study basically the first is watching videos the second is reviewing the key points the outlines know what the central focus so going to the study itself, it comprises of actual study, actually studying like your school notes, not just your school notes, with a textbook, with the lecture schedule, with the notes you yourself wrote in class. You know there is the one that the lecturer reads, there is the one that you write, and there is the one that is from your textbook basically. I like to write in class because writing in class, there's something that the lecturer will emphasize on. I need to say emphasis. emphasis. You know, there's some things that lecture I'm like, oh, this is an MCQ question. Oh, this is an essay question. I like I like to write MCQ behind it because I might forget these things. I might think, oh, I'm I'm the what they call it, a tanker of knowledge, be a head full of knowledge, and I'll always remember everything. That's a lie. That's a big lie. There are some things that I will not remember because until I see it in my book, when I say, oh, this is an MCQ question, I pay more attention to it. Oh, this is an essay question, I pay more attention to it. So there is the note you write in class. There is, you know, the lecturer releases, and there is your textbook. It's, I like to use this thing. 
when I tell my friends that I like to use my textbook to read, they're like, where do you find the time? And I'm like, I can't be without reading my text because the truth is that when our lecture slides are in like PowerPoint and it'll be like increased serum ion level, like why? Why is this so? Why? Like, why would it be this, 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 this? I need to understand the mechanism behind it. You can't just tell me, me, I'm a very inquisitive person personally. So you can't just tell me uh, this happened and this. I'm going to ask you why. And it annoys my friends, my friends sometimes because I'm like, why? They're like, okay, this is, I'm like, why? Okay, I'm like, how? Because I just want to know. I don't want to just be like, uh, okay, oh, mm, oh, yeah, oh, okay, okay. I don't know really how it is, but I just agree. I'm not just going to blindly follow you because you said this. I need to know the reason why, because it makes things just be better. You just remember things better that way. So, there is this um, dedication. There's this. I don't know, responsiveness, responsibility. I don't know the word. The word is hard, it's not coming forth. When you stay behind a desk to read and you tell yourself, okay, I'm going to be done with this book in the next two hours and I'm not going to stand up from this place till I'm done with this book. And you actually read this book. There's this thing. I don't know. It, it makes you a better person. It might not be so extravagant and or it may not be a big deal, but it makes you a better person, it makes you responsible, it makes you dedicated, it makes you determined that oh I must do this and you actually follow through the plan. So there's this thing, the English is not coming to my head right now, but just know that there's this thing that happens to you when you sit down behind a desk to actually study and you actually do study. So um, that is one of the actual studies, actually study. Then the next one under this is creating mnemonics. Creating mnemonics is very important. Personally, yes, I use some mnemonics app and all of that, but I like creating my own mnemonics because I'm not going to forget my own mnemonics. <laughs> it's crazy. My friend used to say that my mnemonics are out of this world and they are mad and all of that, but I don't know. I just like creating my own mnemonics that I feel comfortable remembering. Sometimes, I mean, the mnemonics app are mostly like American apps, like apps created from the United States and all of that. And they use things that relating to them, like their politics and all of that. And sometimes I can't remember that because, well, um, I am not really from the United States of America. But so I try to make my own mnemonics with my environment, with my um, country, and all of that, all of that. And it helps for better understanding and helps retain more information. <laughs> but do not create a mnemonics. Remember the mnemonics and forget what the mnemonics is for. That is just something else. So create mnemonics that are that I can easily recall that makes sense basically. So yeah. Now we go to the post study. The post study basically comprises of every other thing you do when you're done with your study. One is review the outline again. Reviewing the outline is a pre-study and a post study. Because first of all, you have to know what you're supposed to be. Then when you are done studying, you have to now know if you know what you studied. So reviewing the outline helps you. Oh, okay, okay. They said that I, sh I should define this. I should define inflammation. It's cardinal signs of inflammation. Do I know it now? Do I not know it now? And if you don't, just go back and let it stick better. Let it stick more, basically. So the first is reviewing the outline, reviewing the key points, reviewing what you're supposed to know before you started studying. So it's very important and should not be overlooked when you want to study to retain. Okay. So the next one is answering some past questions. Um, basically, in medical school, in my school, you get past questions that flying everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Sometimes you will not know. It's about one week to the exam time, which is so bad. But past questions are everywhere, and you could just get even if. They are not everywhere. You could go online and search for past questions on inflammation, past questions on um, the past questions on that, and past questions are going to just pop up. It's not. It's just to test your knowledge if you can recall, if you can remember, if you read the right thing, basically. So yeah, answering some past questions will help you stimulate your brain to recall. Okay. Then the next one is having good discussions or good studies. Good discussions cannot be overemphasized. Even as a medical student in particular, it cannot be overemphasized because 
You might just be in your room, you might have read something very interesting and in your mind, oh my god, I understand the subject matter very well. But once you now gather with like three or four or five persons and you guys discuss that subject matter, they will be like, but I thought this was this. And people bring out little, little things from the book that like you never even thought about it and it just seems important at that moment so good discussion can never be overemphasized. if you want to be a low ranger in medical school well the ball is in your court but i will not advise anybody to be a lone ranger in medical school another um course study is tutorials in my school i belong to a an association called the christian medical and dental association of Christian Medical and Dental Association, CMDA. It's basically an association of medical and dental students that are Christians, basically. So the academic board in this association organizes tutorials, pre tests, and all of that every week. So when I know that, okay, they were supposed to learn this, I try to read up the topic before that day. And so when I get to the tutorial, like things just become, you know, when someone is explaining something that you have never read before, you're like, Okay, so what does this mean? So what does that mean? But when you've read it, even if you just glance through it, once you've read it before and somebody's explaining it again, it becomes easier, it becomes simpler, it becomes interesting and you retain more. So the post study comprises of checking out your outline again, um, answering some past questions, um, having good discussions and going for tutorials and pre-tests, basically. So that is all about the active reading or active study. So you can see all these categories and everything under the category that comprise of that make up the active study. So you see, active study is not just sitting behind the deck, opening your book and just scrolling through it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I don't know who you are doing reading competition with, if it's yourself. But active study is nothing like passive study. Well, passive study is like reading a novel, but the good thing about reading a novel is that. You can picture it when you are reading a novel and say, oh, okay, this happened. I can explain it to someone like a story. If you can study passively like, like that and tell it in a story form, then fine. Maybe passive study might be okay for you. But I wouldn't advise anyone to study passively because along the line, after five years, you cannot reproduce what you studied five years ago. Basically. So active study is a way to go, especially as a medical student, because you're dealing with life and death. You don't want when you become a doctor, when you become a house officer and you're left alone, you're on call with patients in the world, they're like, okay, you carry books around and you're like, ah, I know this thing, they taught me in school, but I can't, I can't really remember. No, you really don't want that to happen to you. So let's try as much as possible to get this, have the habit of active study. Do try out this active study routines and all of that and comment down below how it went for you. I really do want to. No, I want to get your feedback. It has worked for me and I pray it works for you all the way. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is the end of the video. I don't want to elongate it more than it already is. So this is the end of the video. If you've not subscribed, I don't know what I did to you, but please do click the subscribe button down there somewhere. I don't know where it's going down here. Do click the subscribe button. Go check out my previous videos and you know um seven habits of a highly effective student check that out it will really be helpful to you and make your life better slightly better i think so yeah this is the end of the video give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you do try it out i really want to get your reviews and what how it works for you so yeah do come back and comment down below on how it works for you and if you've been trying out these techniques before do comment down below and tell us how it has helped you past or in the present basically and share to your friends yeah that's important don't be what don't be stingy don't be what don't be stingy i'll see you guys in my next one i love you guys as always zara ray signing out bye <laughs>